Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Calling Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. We're so close to the end, you guys. Today, hopefully, shall finally be the day we get our 8th gym badge. What? Yes, hopefully. I say that. I often think, yeah, I'm like one town over, but then the route's going to take me the whole episode. So maybe today is the day we arrive in the town of our eighth gym badge. What? I don't know. But before we do that, first thing, uh, I noticed in the comments of the last video, many of you were suggesting a particular change on the team, to which at first I was like... <laughs> What? Uh, our team is perfect, how dare you. But upon further inspection, I think you guys might have been right. So, uh, I think we're just gonna go ahead and make the change. Uh, said suggestion, surprisingly, was for Durant to be switched out with uh, Mr. Ashworth. There we go, it has been done. <coughs> Excuse me. No, oh, we gotta take your item. Item, yes. Um, so, here's the thing. If you just look at the stats right here, you'll notice the top four there are all under 100, and speed is at 131, right? Okay. So, this is just a quick, easy way to take it all in. Meanwhile, if you go over here to Durant, um, the attack and defense stats way higher like we have it's it's a clear trade between the special attack and special defense are much lower but the so this um ashworth's special attack is 98 that's his best stat the best stat over here is 114 and then 107 also beats that so it's just like the the attack and defense is so vastly superior uh that it seems like it must it needs to happen the special defense really low we'll say that especially if uh he even walks near fire speaking of which there's a freaking ant on my arm right now god well there was an ant on my arm it's like they could feel me switching an ant type pokemon onto the team and they're like i want to play and i was like no no but like video game ants not not real life ants okay anyway um otherwise i love ashworth but the tricky thing has been that we haven't really used her in a while, and her gimmick is basically toxic, um, with then, like, switching between Protect and Venishock. Like, that's, that's the game we're playing, which is a game more suited to a more defensive Pokemon. Um, and in the meantime, we also have a really good poison type on the team. Uh, her name is Xerxen, so that's sort of where we're at. We'll see how it works out. Obviously, Duong can't go near fire at all, but did give us a run for our money in the last episode. I've never used the Durant before, but, uh, we're coming up to an ice gym, and Steel's good in there, so... Plus, Steel just resists everything, so despite having bad special defense, it'll still have lots of resistances. There's all that to consider. All of that. And like the fire weakness is a problem regardless. Like the bug typing makes it worse, but let's face it, at that low special defense, you're pretty much going down to anything fire anyway. Do 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 wait, did I did it need healing? No, Duong's good. Uh oh, and it has dig and bug bite and crunch and iron head. So lots of options. Lots of options. Uh I'm gonna put Chloeo at the front of the team because Chloeo is the one who is hungry for some ice types and who's going to flamethrower them uh, into their best life, which is the dead life, as it were. As it were, you know. I'm wondering, also, now that we have Duong, if there, if we can pick up X, is there somewhere? Is that a TM that's available? Hi, look, there's a, watch it be that. Wouldn't that be funny? Uh, we cannot rock smash our way over there. But maybe it's not a rock smashable thing. Maybe you have to, like, get over there. Hmm. Is this a new route? I think it is. I'm all over the place this morning. Time for Pokemon battle is what the me from 10 seconds ago said. You're not wrong. Pumpkaboo. Mm-hmm. I can't help but notice that you're a bit of a uh, grass ghost type, which is about the worst possible combination you could be to fight my normal fire type here. Um, anyway, flamethrower? And 
Uh, pumpkin pie, anybody? Yes, pumpkin pie. Is she gonna have a gorge ice to follow it up? Oh, just another pumpkin boo. But a little bit bigger this time. Found the silk scarf, did you? But did you find the, uh, the flamethrower I was packing? It was called my mouth, and it just roasted you like a Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, I could see myself being defeated by you. I could see that too. It does seem like something that was going to and did happen. All right, new route means we can catch a new Pokemon. What's it gonna be? Oh, it's a horde fight. Here we go. What is it? Maybe there'll be a shiny. Oh, it's a Gligar. Oh, it's fun. I like it. We need to be careful. They are ground types, so we're gonna switch to young Fatterhorn to just sort of absorb the damage of these Ombres and, uh, we have to, the annoying thing is we have to do this stupid horde fight because we want to catch the Gligar. It's always better to have caught a Gligar than to have not caught a Gligar or to have caught any Pokemon because you never know when the worst might happen. Mm-hmm. Yes. And Gliscor, very cool Pokemon. Yay, look, we healed off almost all of your pathetic damage. Level 24, Gligar, fight, good dude, the birds. Uh, oh, does Bolt, uh, I was gonna say, does Boltos hit all of them? That'd be great, but we don't wanna hit all of them. We want to hit the leader. Maybe we wanted to catch the leader, I don't know. Oh, we're so slow. We're slower than a level 24 Gligar. Oh, it's so annoying. Oh, I hate it. I hate fights like this where you just have to like wait over and over, but each round gets a little bit easier because there's one less each time. Mm-hmm. Great. What a good fight. And then we heal a little bit. Yay. And then we fight a little bit and we just have to sit here and wait. I might just fast forward to the end where I'm gonna catch the Pokemon, okay? All right, I have whittled its health down a wee bit, and I think I'm gonna go for the Ultra Ball here. I had to use some power-up punches there. Let's see. Huh? Hmm? Hmm? Ding! Oh, we got him! Hooray! That's exciting. Okay, now we're gonna need a name for this little dude. Oh man, Gligar, one of my favorites, or Gliscor anyway. Very cool Pokemon, very cool Pokemon. Yeah, yes. Vifquain, what a wonderful name. Vifquain, Vifquain, Vifquain. Vif Vif it's probably Vifquain, Vifquain, I think is what I'm gonna go with there. All right, thank you. That's from Jocelyn Vifquain, from uh, Sycamore's Startling Surprise. There we go. Welcome to the box, Vifquain. I think Gligar is one of those that picks up a new typing as it, um, when it evolves. Because it's like, is it like flying ground weirdly? Like, I think it is. Uh, what where, where are we looking for? Some Moo Moo Milk. Yeah, go heal the fats. There it is. Super duper. All right, we're all feeling good about that. We're all healed up. What we really want is is to fight the ice gym. That's what we're really here for. You, little girl, fight me. Hee 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 hee, fall for my fairies. Oh, you've got fairy types, do you? <laughs> I have just the giant scorpion for them. <laughs> Mr. Mime, that's hilarious. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Yes, 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 yes. It's a, it's a, it's a, love, it's a lovely Mr. Mime. She's adorable, but let me show you what a really adorable Pokemon looks like. Yes. Allow me to introduce you to Zerxen. Mm-hmm. She gives good hugs. Yeah, it doesn't affect me. Yeah, right. Because not only am I poisoned, but also I'm dark. So I'm basically your worst nightmare. Zerxen is like the perfect Pokemon for the final, final fight of this whole game where you're against like a psychic fairy, which is exactly what Mr. Mime is. Um... <clears throat> Except that instead of it being a Mr. Mime, it's a Mega Gardevoir, and uh, it's the champions. So, 
that's how I'm imagining that fight to go. Basically just, uh, oh, the end effect Xerxen, poison jab. We win. Oh, you've got Azumarill. I just powered up an Azumarill in my Pokemon Go account, like almost to the max, <coughs> which makes it like a solid 1500 CP, which is really low for a maxed out Pokemon, but is apparently really good for the uh, great battles, as it were. Which, where the max is 1500. It's like a weird niche for uh, Azumarill. And you might think, wow, do you do a lot of PvP? No, but so many of the rockets in that game uh, demand great battles, and they're surprisingly good. So I was like, I'm going to adjust for this, and now I've got a really, really good Azumarill. Anyway, that's that story. I'm sure you care. Other Pokemon Go update. Uh, I am under two million to go, you guys. I am like, I can taste level 40. Are you level 40 in Pokemon Go? It is, it is a journey. Oh my gosh, is this a rival fight? For goodness, is this a rival fight? I'm not prepared for that. No, what is it? We're gonna battle, we are. Oh my gosh, these people and their random surprise fight. I'm just not, okay. You're not really as big a deal. You're not wine gums, that's for sure, but you're not nothing either. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It is possible we have reached the point where we can get rid of work up because this does like, hmm, anyway, flamethrower. You have a cat, I have a cat too, except mine's a lion and yours looks like it won prizes at a show. My attack harshly fell, oh no, what will I do? Uh, flamethrower your face off? Yeah, that's what I thought, because that didn't affect me. Because I don't use regular physical attacks anymore. All about that Segudra. Oh, 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 interesting. You have a dragon. Well, I didn't see that coming. But, do you know what we do have? Mighty Daven! I was like, what do we have for dragons? Oh, right, never mind. <laughs> we have a giant legendary deer. I forgot. How could I forget? Oh, it used Earthquake. Davin laughs at your patheticness and uh, says, Moonblast? But how about Moonblast? We are a legendary Pokemon and you're only like sort of good, Gudra. So goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Okay, thanks for coming. Oh, Delphox, this is adorable. He's so cute. He's gonna die. Uh, oh, because it's part psychic, so let's just night slash it. Mm hmm. Yeah, that was. That was almost dangerous. Mm hmm. Okay, we're gonna night slash you again. Oh, no, not a psychic. Oh, did more damage than I would like, for sure. But we actually totally destroyed her. Oh, she looks a little surprised. Battles with friends are really, really exciting. I will say so. I feel overdressed for the weather, frankly. It looks like I would be sweating quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Oh, do not have another fight. Okay. I second I thought Wine Gums was gonna be like, oh, what, my turn. I was gonna be upset. Oh. What? It is another fight. What is this nonsense? Hey, hey, I'm in the middle of something. I'm trying to get my eighth gym badge. I don't have time to fight all your stupid. Ugh. Okay, I got you. I hear you. I hear you. Um. Hyper voice? Not gonna be that effective because we do have an item. Oh, it did do some serious damage. Oh! Okay. He didn't do enough damage. And I think we are going to do some. Oh, but what if. Mm, no, okay. I'm feeling okay. Okay. Oh, gosh, I'm nervous. <gasps> you did so much damage. How dare you! 
Oh, you jerk sauce. Crawdont. Oh, God. <gasps> what if it has pursuit? What if it has pursuit? It's a dark type. Oh. Mm, I don't like it. I don't want to fight it. I don't like where this is going. Mm hmm. If this thing pursuits my Chloe, I'm going to be just in an outrage. Oh, that, seriously, I was I was horrified for a hot second there. Okay, Xylia. Yeah, water absorb. Thank you. Thank you. If I have to fight the third dude too, I'm going to be upset. Thunderbolt! Boy, how great is it that Xylia has Thunderbolt? It's like, oh, hi, water types. Thank you for the water absorb. Also, here's a Thunderbolt. I love it. Ba-boom. The dead. Whew. These guys are getting close on some of our pokes, so Chloe L51! Incinerate. Man, maybe. What does that do? Okay, let's read up what workup does real quick. Attack and special attack. Okay. So there is that. This does 60. The user attacks fire. It's holding certain items such as a berry. The berry becomes burned up and unusable. So... I'm going to say this is pretty useless because we already have Unnerve, which stops them from eating the berries anyway. And it's not as good as Flamethrower. So, no, we're not going to learn it. Keep old moves. That would be like a fun one if you didn't have a better fire type attack already. It was just like, oh yeah, what a random thing. We also happen to sometimes burn their berry away. Uh, we also do happen to randomly sometimes ice beam these things. Let's see how this goes. We should resist the gra- Oh, I didn't like that. That was bad. Oh, it heard itself. I was like, what's this extra damage? Just kill it. Oh, uh, okay. Um. Switch out of the fats here. Boom. Man, I thought we would have resisted that a little better because of the ice typing, but I guess not. I guess ice doesn't really resist it, it just is neutral, so maybe that makes a little more sense. This should do just next to nothing. Oh, it's confused. Wonderful. And we're just gonna heal a little bit of that damage off. Gonna feel a little better about it. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's super dupes. Um, so also, this should just be it. Body slam oozle. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. Don't need you to be doing that. Mm-hmm. If I have to fight the third dude too, I'm gonna be upset because we are at this point a little bit low on some HP. Round the horn, you know what I'm saying? Around the fatter horn. Oh, we leveled up. That's nice. Yeah, fats. Ba boom. All right, Trevor, don't you dare. Do not you dare. I am tired of these dumb rival fights. Wow, Tiani asking someone to battle? What's up with that? Well, Gia said to tell me to think if Big J had been there, I wouldn't be dancing now, that's for sure. That made me want to get to know Big J better, and I thought a battle would be the best way to do that. It's kind of self show me, I guess, but it's also a way of thanking him. Mm-hmm. You... I do not. Oh. Are you healing them? Ugh. Okay, but I think he healed the Pokemon, right? That's what he did. Oh, he looks angry. Oh, a Raichu. Lovely. 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 That's what I'm, that's what I'm here for. It's these Raichu fights. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Flamethrower. If this thing has, like, a secret surf attack, I'm going to be... No, that would be weird. Um, so we don't have any ground types or anything. Our typical answer would be to just like bulldoze this thing and if it gets to that we will but at the moment i think we'll just try and flamethrower it we'll see how this goes we might be able to have some roast rye Whoa! oh we burned it lovely oh going for the paralysis mm. Mm. i see it's not a bad move it's not a bad move i kind of want to just heal that off because you do not want to be paralyzed for the rest of the fight and I think we can take whatever he's about to hit us with. And he's going to take some extra damage anyway. Yeah. 
Thunderbolt. Mm hmm. Saw that one coming from a mile away, and you're going to take some burn damage, and then we're going to take some uh, flamethrower at you damage. We're going to throw a flamethrower upon you. There you go. Yay. Oh, it's an Aerodactyl. I don't like that. We gotta switch out for you. Gotta switch. Oh, boy. What do we have to fight you? Uh, maybe Fatterhorn's our best option here. Well, I guess Xylet. Well, hmm. we're gonna go to Fats, but we'll see how this does. We definitely don't want to fight this Aerodactyl with Chloe. Oh, that's for sure. Where do you get an Aerodactyl? That's pretty cool. Uh-huh. Oh, Supersonic. You're trying to confuse me. You're one of the- I see what your game is. Oh, I forgot we had Bulldoze on you, too. Maybe we'll try and paralyze it. That'd be very nice. Oh, no. All right. Fats. Focus. Focus up, buddy. You got this. Mm-hmm. Body slam. Go for the paralysis. Paralysize him. Oh, it just did not do that much damage. Okay. Um... We're still going to go for the paralysis, because I feel like that's the best way to go about it. Please, oh, uh, jeez. Mm-hmm. He's using all of it. Oh, he got the stat boost. Oh, no. Oh, we snapped out of confusion, though. And then we paralyzed him. Oh, we didn't. Oh, so frustrating. And it did less damage still, because... Freaking... He got his... Stop it! Oh gosh, this is so annoying. I hate Pokemon like this that are just like, oh, cause status effects galore. Oh, but you can't confuse Fatterhorn. He knows what's up. He has fought too many gym leaders to be confused by the likes of you, Aerodactyl. I'm a little surprised. We haven't quite landed a um, paralysis yet, but <clears throat> I'm not giving up on it. We're just wearing you down. Mm-hmm. It's a big crunch. Oh, look at Fatterhorn. How? Oh, there it is. About time. I was like, geez. This is an enormous amount of time to not get paralyzed. Now we're going to go for the strength. It's a little bit better. Oh, and immediately on his first turn gets paralyzed. Oh! <laughs> Oh, man, this is so funny. <laughs> he hasn't managed to confuse us a single time, and he got paralyzed on his first uh, go-around with it, so maybe we'll snap out of it now. Is he still faster than us? Even after paralysis? That's embarrassing. We, we did get confused again. Oh, my gosh. Is anyone a straighter thinker than Fatterhorn? Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? He's like, you can't confuse me. I know what's... I hit the big flying rock monster. What? What's What's hard about it? Exactly. You get it. Oh, Florgius. Hello there. How art thou? Um, so this is where I would typically just switch back to <laughs> Chloe. But we, are take, we have taken a bit of damage. Actually, this seems like maybe a good Xerxen fight. Because we can just hit it with the sludge. And in the meantime... Um, we're probably just okay either way. Right? Is this like part fairy as well, I think? Florgis? Mm-hmm. We are still confused. I mean, we haven't... Let's, yeah, let's try this. Go Xerxen. Finish him. Give him a big hug. Surprising Pokemon, really. Misty Terrain? What does that do? Well, I don't know about that one bit, but Poison Jab? I'm thinking this is going to be super mega effective. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm pretty sure that thing is like fairy and grass. See ya! We win! Oh, stop! Yeah, alright. Thank you, the three of you, for your lovely surprise. Three rival fights in a row. Exactly what I was hoping for. Wow, I don't think I've ever heard you worry about being weak or strong before, Trevor. You seem a lot bolder than you used to be. Is it because you went on a journey or maybe it's thanks to your Pokemon and whatever? Oh my gosh. 
Where's Wine Gums? No, she's off training with the Mega Evolution Guru. She said friends and friends friends are friends even if they can't be together. Indeed. Well, there's something we must attend to. Be seeing you. Cool. Friends are friends. Don't invite me on your grand adventure. I don't really care. This is from us. HMO5. Waterfall. Thanks, guys. I guess. Even if you're battling without the badge in Snowbell City Gym, you can use Waterfall. I've got to get going. See ya. All right. Cool. The battle bridge is complete, I guess. Well, as I said, um, maybe this will be the episode where we get to the town where we're going to be fighting the next gym badge. And it looks like there might be even more trainers to go. Um, but... Having had three mini rival battles and catching the Gligar, I think we're at a good stopping point. We've been going for like half an hour. So uh, I'm going to save right here. But thank you so much for tuning in today. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you haven't already. And subscribe so you don't miss any future Nuzlocke episodes from us. We should be at 8th Gym Badge, Victory Road, Elite Four. We are nearing the end of our journey. And it's been a very fun one. But uh, until next time. Bye.